Well, I'm very pleased to be joined once again here on Primetime Local News with Canadian country artist Lindsay L. Lindsay, first off, thank you very much for joining us. As now officially you are a Juno-nominated country artist for Country Album of the Year. Uh, share with our viewers how you found out you were nominated. So I found out on my um, on Zoom. Actually, I was on Zoom with my rock star publicist and my manager, and I cried. I totally cried, Gunner. I mean to be nominated for my first Juno Award ever on a record that meant so much to me and that means so much to me. It's, it's just a, a really important nomination and a really important award show to me. I've watched the Juno Awards ever since I was a little girl and, um, and dreamed like watching Shania walk up on stage and accept award after award after award. And so to be nominated in a category like country album of the year for an album that I have just put so much of my heart into and um, was was a real huge turning point just in my life in general, as, as opposed to like claiming a lot of things and who I am and and my story and, and coming out with that, it, it just was like a huge flag in the sand. And so to be able to get a Juno nod and nom from um, from that moment means a lot. And on top of it, it's the 50th anniversary of the Juno Awards. So it, it even makes it more special. Now, one of the songs on the album, Heart Theory, Want Me Back, got certified gold, which was surprised to you on ET Canada. And it also was your second number one on Canadian country radio. So what does getting those recognitions mean to you for this album? We work so hard. I mean, all of us work so hard. And as artists, we work so hard, like putting our head down and and just doing the grind and, and traveling all over the place pre-COVID and, and just working night and day and... Um, and to be able to celebrate some moments like this, like a Juno nomination or a gold record, it does make everything worth it. And it does make everything seem that you're you're like doing the right things or you're at least heading in the right direction. Because sometimes it's like easy to kind of lose sight of everything and be like, does any of this matter? Like, does any of this really matter at the end of the day? And so anytime you can celebrate even tiny steps or huge steps along the journey with things like this, um, they're, they're so meaningful. It was also announced recently that you're going to be joining Blake Shelton on his upcoming tour within the next couple of months. So talk about the excitement for you and how you managed to score a spot on his tour. I am so excited. I'm so excited, Connor, to be on the road with Blake. I've been a huge fan of Blake, um, for so long. I mean, talk about like just having songs that are generationally changing songs and um of course watching him be on the voice for all these years i've just i'm such a huge blake fan he's so funny and as an artist around town um he's just such a good dude you know i've i met him years and years ago and he still to this day like he didn't need to care at all who i was i think i met him for the first time probably about six years ago and um and he met me and then six months later we saw each other at cma awards or something and he was like lindsay it's so good to see you and i'm like blake remembered me like what like he doesn't need to do that and he meets so many people and so he's just such a good dude and I'm so excited about the tour because um, Blake's show is like this country music mecca moment. So he has Martina McBride, Trace Atkins, and Tracy Bird a part of his show. And we get to open up the stage for that show. So we are right before Blake, and I'm, I just cannot wait to warm up that audience and make sure everybody's ready for the, uh, the incredible show to come. And lastly, Lindsay, if you're lucky enough to hear your name called for country album of the year at the Junos, what will it mean to you? Whew. I mean, even hearing you say that question, um, it's, it just means so much to me. I mean, this isn't just a, a flash in the pan. I mean, um, I'm getting emotional even talking about that. Like this album is, um, has, has changed my life in so many ways, even just writing it and releasing it and, um, having the courage to say the things I did on some of these songs. And so, um, to be able to be celebrated from an organization like the Junos for an album like this will mean the world to me. It truly would. Lindsay, I really appreciate your time as always. Thank you so much for joining us. The album Heart Theory is out on all major music platforms to have a listen or to purchase. Lindsay, congratulations on all your success and thanks again for joining us. Connor, I appreciate you so much and you're always looking so dapper. It's always so enjoyable to talk to you.